Learn to do anime girl voice. Pay some dude to make me a VTuber model. Start streaming. Gain a small fan base. Start OnlyFans. Get 15k plus a month and posing a 3D model for OnlyFans and sexting losers. By the time this cash cow runs dry I'll be set for life. I guess life ain't so bad. Be me. First few days of college. No friends. Spend entire day in my room because I'm too much of a pussy to interact. Finally gather the courage to get out and meet people. See a cute girl in the common area. Start talking with her and actually having fun. She stops the conversation abruptly to ask me when my birthday is. I tell her. Sorry Anna. I'm just compatible with Geminis or some shit like that. Gets up and walks away. Fuck this place. I want to leave. Grow up in single mother household. Be 18. Never have had a girlfriend. Don't worry. Love will find you eventually. Be 21. Never had a girlfriend. Don't worry. Love will find you eventually. Be 25. Never had a girlfriend. Don't worry. Just be patient and don't force it. Now 27. Never had a girlfriend. Mom outright suggests me to look for Eastern European. Polish. Ukrainian. Even Balkan. Women. I live in Germany. Ask her why. She gets all angry and defensive. Tell her I just want to know why she suggests that. Well, they are nice women too. And maybe not as troublesome for you. Is my mom secretly blackpilled or why is this happening? It's not even that I am ugly. I am 6 foot 2. Fit and got a decent face. Why is she getting so angry and defensive when I just ask her to tell the truth? Be 18 year old neat. Not bad looking. Just fucking stupid. Not very aware of sexual lingo. Go to party with friends. Girl is kinda flirting with me. Don't know what to do because stupid. Tell friend. Friend says oh. You're doing fine Anna. But just so you know. She gets around. Seems irrelevant. Go back to talking to girl. Trying to maintain conversation. Ask her where she likes to travel. She says she hasn't gotten the chance to travel in a while. Oh. Sorry. Friend told me you got around. He must have been thinking of someone else. Girl kind of stands there for a second watching me smile like a retard. She walks away. Avoids me for the rest of the night. Tell friend, Anna. You might literally be retarded. My face when he explained what getting around meant. Wakes up. Goes to Twitter. Sees that only fans backpedaled and are not banning sexually explicit content. All of the ethos are celebrating and advertising like always. Ruined my day, why can't we never get anything good in this fucking cancerous tumor of a world for once? Be little shit. Family has some goats. Pen has an old deck from an above ground pool in it for the goats to fuck around on. Deck is maybe 3 foot off the ground. Open underneath for shade. Playing in the goat pen one day. Hum what to do. Genius idea. I'm gonna ride a goat. Pick sturdy looking goat from the bunch. Hop up onto its back. Goat immediately fucks off at Mach 12. Hold on for dear life as goat eats around the pen at maximum velocity. After a few moments goat brain engages and hatches a dastardly plan. My steed makes a beeline for the pool deck. The deck is above goat height. But not above me on top of goat height. Get clotheslined. Knocked flat on my back into piles of goat shit. I definitely deserve it. Be me. One eyed lad. Have severe self image issues because of it. Parents and extended family constantly tell me how disgusting it looks. And told not to come to multiple family events. Decide to make a post on here asking for honest thoughts on how bad the eye socket actually looks. Get nothing but kind. Supportive. And reassuring posts about making sure to stay confident in myself no matter what. Can't contain how much these comments have helped me crawl out of a deep depressive hole. Thank you Anans. You brought me back from the brink of an abyss. Be me. 25. Haven't had sex in almost 5 years. Go on a date with really cute girl. Both agreed on trying out expensive restaurant. Things going great. We end our meals and start talking about heading to my place. Sex incoming. JPEG. Waiter brings our bill. She goes to the bathroom. I start paying while she was there. She is taking a bit long and there. Ask waitress if she could check in on her. Waitress says there isn't anybody in the bathroom. My face when realize I'll have to pay a quarter of my monthly salary in a restaurant for a girl because I'm a retard. Be me. Age 7. Have a 2 year old younger brother. I occasionally smack him to discipline him when he annoys me or does something wrong. 
parents yell at me. They say one should never, ever do that to a child. Fast forward 15 years. My parents get a dog for the first time. It's a small puppy. They occasionally smack the puppy to discipline it. For example if he pees in the house. Fast forward 2 years. The dog is now one of the most well behaved dogs in the whole neighborhood. My brother is a drug addict. I fucking hate normies and their hypocrisy. Dad released from jail for beating his 23 year old girlfriend. Go to his house only 4 days later and he has a new girlfriend there. She is only 21. Tell her in private about how she should leave since he is violent and will end up beating her. She curses me out. Tells me he is a sweet man who would never do such a thing and that I'm just jealous that he gets to have a young girlfriend. I leave without convincing her. Go back to his house a few days later. See her crying and she has red marks on her face and arms. Alan your dad hit me. Tell her my dad is a sweet man and would never do such a thing. Be me. Just going to school early in the morning one day. I cross a big street. Pretty much no traffic. Only one car. But it's far away. I cross the street pretty casually and slowly. The car in the distance comes closer. It doesn't slow down and it's pretty fast. The driver is probably drunk. Try to get out of its way. Fail.mp3. The car hits me. Feel horrible pain then proceed to pass out. Wake up in hospital. I have two broken ribs but they say I'll be alright. My family takes care of me. Relatives and friends come to visit me. One day my whole class comes. My crush included. Realize that I almost died and have nothing to lose. Ask my crush to stay a little longer after my other classmates exit the room. Before I know it I've confessed to her. She says she loves me. We start having sex in the hospital bed. It feels incredible. JPEG. Wake up in the hospital. The doctors tell me I've been asleep for three days after the road incident on my way to school. My class hasn't visited me. My face when it was all a dream. My face when I have to stay in the hospital for two weeks because of my injuries. My face when my class doesn't ever come to visit me in real life. Make sure to like and subscribe for more content.